People say, I'm going for Hajj, I will seek the forgiveness of Allah. No, 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 that's the wrong statement. I have sought the forgiveness of Allah, I'm going to go for Hajj, and I will reiterate that I have repented to Allah. And I'm going to seek forgiveness again, not because I'm doubting the forgiveness of Allah, but because it's a blessed place, a blessed moment. Allah loves it when you cry to Him and say, Oh Allah, forgive my shortcomings. Look at the Quran. Allah Almighty makes mention of Adam alayhi salam. He does not say, Adam alayhi salam said it so many times, forgive me. He said it once, Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al khasirin. Beautiful statement from the heart. Oh our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. What we did was wrong. That's what Adam alayhi salam is saying. And if you don't have mercy on us, and if you don't forgive us, we are the losers. My brothers, my sisters, if Allah doesn't forgive you and I, who is at a loss? The Lord of the worlds or you and I? <laughs> Subhanallah, I'm at a loss, you're at a loss. So tell Allah, oh Allah, I have no Lord besides you. No one can forgive me but you, oh Allah. And if you have wronged a fellow human being, go and make peace with that person. You have done something wrong. You maybe spoke in a way that hurt their feelings. You might have done whatever. At times people say, you know, when I was little, I pinched this and I did that. I want to make peace. Go and make peace. Don't be embarrassed. Go and make peace. It's better to be feeling that feeling of belittlement in, the, in this world than to feel that feeling later on. I'd rather come to you and say, brother, I spoke a lot of rubbish about you. Please forgive me because I fear the day I'm going to stand in front of my Lord giving account for my deeds. Forgive me. He may say yes, he may say no. If he says yes, you're sorted. Mashallah. If he says no, you can do better, inshallah. Masha, you can ask Allah to soften his heart. You can seek forgiveness for yourself, for the brother, whatever else it may be. You can do a lot, but did you try? Did you go and seek forgiveness? Because I tell you on the day of judgment, things we thought were small will be very big, both good and bad. Sometimes you do a good deed that is small. It is so huge in the scale that you will be so impressed and so thankful to Allah, but the opposite is true. Sometimes you say something light, and it is so bad in the eyes of Allah. You think that it is something light, but in the eyes of Allah, it is very serious. Especially in this particular verse of the Quran, accusing someone of immorality who is not even immoral. Accusing someone of infidelity when they, that is not the case. We think, you know what? This guy here, well, he's having an affair with so-and-so. That statement might have taken you a split second to say. But do you know what? The hadith says, if you were to drop it, similar statements, if you were to drop it in droplet form into the ocean, it would change the color of the whole ocean. That's how serious it is in the eyes of Allah. So make peace with people. Seek their forgiveness. Don't be embarrassed because you will save yourself the embarrassment of the day of judgment. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness.